What's up, Dykes fam? What's up? <laughs> Cute and Akoi. Are you awake? Yeah. Barely. What are you doing this morning? Homeschool. Hey. Are you liking homeschool a little bit more now? Mm, no. Oh. You don't like it? I guess your teacher has failed, huh? No? What are you working on today? Language arts. Pronouns. Sorry, kids, you gotta learn about pronouns. Where's your brothers? Pulling beats. <laughs> Tayden has already woke up and finished his homeschool for the morning. It is 9.30 a.m. and he is done. Yeehaw! Every night I write these little lists for them about what page that they need to work on and what things they need to do. And they wake up. Tayden got up early this morning, got all of his work done. William got all of his work done. Nikoi is so close. nikoi has got one math sheet done and then it's time for the real homeschool lesson of the day. Let's go outside and find out. What's up, Dykes boys? What's up? What's up? Okay. What is today's homeschool lesson? We are picking beets. Wow! In other words, today's homeschool lesson is where does food come from? William, where does food come from? Plants. Plants? Baseball. <laughs> and how do you get it from plants? What do you got to do? Grow them. Grow them? Yep. Is that how you get your food? Yeah. Did we? It doesn't look like we grew much food out here in the garden this year. Get that one. Whoa! Ooh, okay. So I assume most of you go to the grocery store to get your food, and that's where you think food comes from, right, Tayden? Yeah. Is that where we usually get our food? What's cool is that living down here on the farm, we're able to harvest beets this year. And what's cool about that is teaching the kids where food comes from. First of all, you have to know when to plant it, you have to plant the seeds, then you have to water them for two months straight, every single day. And then you have to dig them up, and then you have to figure out how to preserve them. And you have to do that for every food you wanna eat. Those of you that think food comes from the grocery store, it really doesn't, there's other steps. So today, that's what we're going to be learning. Let's learn about beets. I got a big one. If you didn't know this, this is a beet. It grows in the ground like a carrot. They're very nutritious by their dark color. Fun fact, beet tops are also edible. These are delicious, yeah. they taste, they're kinda like but when, you, wow. but when you cut the beet in half, it's like purple. They are a gorgeous color, yeah. we're gonna show them that today. We're gonna be canning beets, bottling beets today. We're gonna preserve these so we can eat them all winter long. As soon as these two boys get all of these beets, hold up and ready to go. Ooh. Tayden. Yeah? It's only 9.30 a.m. Why are you done with school already? Cause I'm super fast. Cause you like to get up and get it done, right? Yeah, I woke up at like 8.30 and it's already done. Is being done with school at 9.30 in the morning better than being done at three o'clock in the afternoon? It's so good, you wake up whenever you want to and it takes me like 30 minutes and then I just get to draw and like watch TV, play video games all day. Kay. And then I go to football, it's perfect. So are we kind of liking homeschool a little bit more this week than we did last week? Oh yeah. Because guess what? We got lots of comments <laughs> from people about how you were very unhappy about doing homeschool that first I video. I was not very happy about that. But we're feeling a little bit better today? Yep. We get to be outside and have fun, right? Yep. It's, it's really fun picking the beats. <laughs> okay. Have fun, buddy. I found a big one. That's what they're supposed to look like. Dad, I found a, a big one. Cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is how I know that the Dykes kids are meant to live on a farm. They love this. What do you think about pulling beets? It's the best. Is it Two. fun? This is the biggest one we found. It is ginormous. Let's see, hold it by your head. It's as big as your brain. Oh, get roasted. <laughs> hey, do you guys like living oh, on a farm? Why? Yeah, it's so fun. Whoa, look how big that one is, William. I just got like this. Drop it. Oh, okay, so we splat it and it's then It's more than it? one. Oh, that's a lot smaller than it looked. I know. In the dirt club. Yeah, they look pretty good till you start kicking off the dirt. What do you think about pulling beets? It's the best. <laughs> Holy gosh. Have you ever seen somebody so excited about pulling beets? Grandma Beat, she's got us pulling beets today. <laughs> what does Grandma Beat grow in her garden? Beets and rice. <laughs> Not very good, yeah. but... oh, We so have a yummy. winner. 
This oh, yeah. is our biggest voluptuous beat. Ooh, this is, looks so good. And guess what? That's the size. Okay, kids, we've got our bushel of beets. Bushel. All look. picked and ready to go. Look. And look at the difference between these. This is an albino beet or yeah. something. Yeah, we had a weird one. This maybe is a parsnip or a turnip, though. Okay, put it next to this it's one. All white. How did it end up in there? Somehow we got a weird seed. Look. Huh? Dump. Okay, now for Maybe the washing. You can move them over here after I spray. Let's like spread them out. I'm gonna spread them out. Yeah, I'll spread them out. Okay. I found the ginormous beast. Spray this one. You want me to spray you? Here, put it down so I don't spray. It. Official beet taste testers. Oh yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna have the first bite. If we no. grow it in the garden, everybody has to try it. Okay. Because you know what? Some vegetables taste a little different from the store than from the garden. Who here likes beets? Me, I love beets. You do? Oh, I've never had the courage to try them. Koi, what about you? I don't know. You said you tried what kind? The pickled beets. Nikoi's tried pickled beets. Did you like them? Cucky. They were what? Cookies. Okay. Only, I only so, like normal beets. You only like normal beets? Yeah, the best. Okay, so our first taste test of the day is raw beets. We haven't cooked these yet. We have a huge pot of them cooking over here. Look at that gorgeous purple water. For our first taste test. And then what is this one, Tayden? We actually don't know. We like we just went and started picking and it had all green leaves and it was white. We think it's an albino. Beet. Or it might be like a turnip. Or it might be a gold. Or a parsnip or something. Yeah. Wait, we is don't it know if it was a wrong seed that got put in with the beets or if it's just like a white version of a beet. Okay, kiddos. Ooh, let's try the purple one first. Yeah. Purple. Baba. When they're cooked, they're kind of woody. They're like a carrot. Ew, ew. And they're like Aww. a purple carrot. You're on me, get off me. <laughs> and your fingers get kind of pink, huh? Okay, yeah. tell me, and I'll like put it in my mouth. Okay, like, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> What's wrong with it, Nikoi? William, Tayden, what do you guys think? It's great. It's great? What does it taste like? Like a yeah, carrot? Give us juice. It I mean, kind of tastes like um, a rotten, whatever it's called. Rotten? Hickama. It tastes like a rotten hickama. <laughs> oh my head. Hickama you. Tate it, it was a little bit harder and crunchier than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a, a flavorless nut. carrot kind of taste. It, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Not yeah. bad. Okay. okay uh, no wonder it doesn't taste good. You've been licking a plate of chocolate and sugar. Of course beets don't taste good after that. Okay, Koi, you gonna try the white one? See I if it's any know. better? I'm gonna try one of these purple ones. I'm gonna try this piece. Okay. Mm. What are your teeth? teeth? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are mine? Yours are a little pink. Okay. Mine? Oh. oh yeah, those aren't very good raw, are they? Mm -mm. Don't eat beets raw. They're not good. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Or you might turn into a beet zombie. Wait, we'll like William. this. William's a beet zombie. <laughs> Three, two, the white one. Try the white ones. See what they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. William, eat a white one. See if it'll turn your teeth back white, huh? Mm. That's a little bit spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah. Beatrice, is it a turnip or a parsnip that's the long ones like carrots? Parsnip. Parsnip, Grandma said. Yeah, Ew. They're long. Not spicy. Is it spicy? I do no, like spicy. If you leave it on your tongue, then yeah, you can totally taste the spice. Yeah. Parsnips are like spicy carrots. Mine, mine, mine. How did they get it? It gets um, in there. All right. They just must have got a seed in there randomly. You like it, Nikoi? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They're better than the raw ones? They, 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 they don't taste normal. They don't taste normal? They taste normal. They're like not. When they go up, they, they, don't, they don't have the taste. They're not that good. They're not that good. They're pretty no, good. Like what good. do they taste like? A carrot. Yeah. Probably. Like a carrot? Like a purple oh, carrot? Okay, thumbs up or get thumbs down if you liked it or not. Good job, Dix. No, this is how much I like. Rosie, did you eat a bee? Open your mouth and show mom. Wow. Good job. We've got our jars all ready now to put our beets in. Hey, kids, no video games. You're supposed to be working. Nope. Too bad. Too bad. Later. Okay, it's soccer time. Soccer time. What, what? I forgot, and football for Tayden. Football time. Oh yeah. No, he's got American football practice. Nikoi William, what's today? Our, so our last soccer oh. game. Wow. Well, we're not entirely sure. It's We think it's the kids' last soccer game today, but we'll find out. We don't know, there might be a tournament. Fingers crossed. It's their last soccer game of the regular season for fall 2019. William and Nikoi. Nikoi, how many goals have you scored this year? Uno. <laughs> okay. William, how many have you scored? Dang it. Okay, today's your last chance, guys. I want you to give it your all, okay? Okay, soccer on three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Soccer! Moments later. Give me the reason to down. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all of my bones. You won't ache my soul. You can't get to me. And there is no
Hey, heck of a game out there. Way to end the regular season on a high note. That was awesome. We got tournament to Oh, so win soccer's that. not over? Yeah. William, hey, is soccer over for you? No, I mean, no. I still, have a, I still have a tournament, then I still have more games. That's right. These two still have soccer coming up next week. We start the tournament. You guys bump? Yeah. But yeah. starting next week, if we lose once, then we're out. That's right. Single elimination. Okay, kids, do we finally get our beats done? Yeah, if I broke these, it looks like somebody bled to death on the table. <laughs> those it's are really, green. really red beets. You guys see those beets in there? Remember all the work it took yeah. to make those? But, no, Growing them in the garden, video. digging them up, cooking them, cutting them up, all the stuff we had to do, and then bottle them. But now we have beets to eat all winter. Nikoi, you gonna eat some beets all winter? Yes. Yeah. You really are? But I don't want them raw again because my teeth turn purple. <laughs> they did make your teeth purple. William's eating a beet shake right now. It's so good. Dad? Oh, what? I have bad news for you. That's the only food that we've stored for the winter is beets. So that's what we're going to have to eat all winter. I don't really like beets, so I'll eat the jam because it doesn't taste like beets. <laughs> that's right. Did you guys know that out of the beet juice, you can make jelly? So these ones are beets, and these ones are actually grape jelly made from beet juice. Oh, Ross, you've got a big thing of beets. Did you guys know that? That you can have jelly from beets? It's really good. You guys should try it. It's kind of crazy. But have you guys ever grown anything in your garden? Give me a thumbs up if you had, or maybe you just buy everything at the store. Guys, seriously, it just it's easier to make to go buy it at the <laughs> store. Like my mom is like her back's hurting. Christina's like I'm so my sore. My hands I'm are like, sore. I'll just buy some jam at the store. It's so you not as do good, it. and it's organic and homegrown. Honestly, the beets taste so much better out of the garden. There's so something it's worth about it, Josh. there's something about growing your own food though. It's true. It tastes way better, and it's, and a it's good way healthier. Skill for the kids to learn because you know they might have to do that someday you don't know. You never know. but if there's no grocery store no there would be a grocery store forever <laughs> okay what do you tell these guys thanks for watching wrong eat your beets eat your beets kids <laughs> just kidding what do we tell these guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow. peace, peace out. out dykes fam you mean That's beets tomorrow. out dykes we, fam we beat you <laughs> oh yeah that doesn't sound good beets out dykes fam we love Beats and you guys. <laughs> <laughs>